then Lena say, Happy Valentine's Day! I'm so excited that it's Valentine's Day. Number one, it's one of my favorite holidays, if not my favorite holiday. I just love that it's centered around love. How can you not love that? And number two, we are actually having a Valentine's Day party tonight. I've been planning this party for like a year. Um, we're hiring a chef and we're going to do a couple's cooking class with our friends and so I have a lot going on. It's a busy, busy day, but I wanted to shoot this video for you guys really quick. Um, so I'm going to be doing a video on our Valentine's Day party and just kind of showing you some of the DIY stuff that I did as well as what I'm going to be wearing and my makeup and so look for that in a few days. And I was actually going to do a Valentine's Day makeup look tutorial, but I just got so behind with everything. So for today's video, I wanted to take you guys up close to my vanity that's in the background. Um, I thought since it's going to be in a lot of my backgrounds, it'd be fun to take you for an up close and personal look and get like all up in its grill. Before we dive into that, I am going to announce the giveaway winner. I'm so excited. And the winner is Mars Batilli. I hope I'm saying your name right, M-A-R-B-E-T-T-I-L-I. -T -T -I. And she said, wow, you're very lucky. I love your makeup, you should do a tutorial, I will. Thank you so much for this giveaway, I hope I win because I can't get any of those things where I live. We don't even have a Sephora here. That's sad, um, it's so sad. <laughs> I love your personality, you're so nice and funny. Well, thank you so much. And again, thank you so much for all of your comments and for everyone who subscribed. I had my fingers crossed for all of you, if that's possible. Um, and congratulations, Mar Batilli. I'm so excited for you and I will get that stuff out to you like tomorrow. So without further ado, I'm going to be taking you guys up close and personal with my vanity. So come along. So this is my vanity. That's my little stool. Um, and if you see any of my lighting, so my lighting, this is the chair that I sit on. That's, how do I point it out? That's my camera. That's my lighting. And I'm going to do a full um, lighting review um, in a video that's coming up soon. If you want to check out what I use to record my videos. So this is my vanity. I got it on PotteryBarnTeen.com. Um, I don't think they have a Pottery Barn Teen store here in Colorado. They just have Pottery Barn Kids and the normal Pottery Barn. So yeah, so this is the vanity that I got. Um, let's see, what do I do first? So I guess I'll do the um, top of my vanity first. So on this little thing, I have my um, two perfumes that I wear the most. This one is by Victoria's Secret. Um, Nior, I don't know, with the sexy little things. Nior, I don't know. And then this is the Gucci, which, Gucci Black. Um, this is the Gucci Black that my husband picked out for me. And then I have a little candle from Bed Bath and, no, uh, Bath and Body Works. And then in this middle section, it has some cubby holes. So most of them I'm not using. Um, this one, I just put my eyeshadow, or not my eyeshadow, my eyebrow um, powder duo, my rose salve. Um, I put that on every day after I do my foundation so that my lips are nice and moist when I put my lipstick on at the end of everything and then this is my beauty blender that I use pretty often to apply my foundation and then I have my little uh I don't know what you call these things flat top kabuki um has some hair on it lovely I used to use this a lot and not so much anymore but it doesn't really fit in where I put my other brushes so I just put it here and then this is oh my goodness there's stuff in there I'm seeing in my little camera What's in here? Brushes. I used to put my brushes in here and then I decided that I didn't like that. So currently they're empty, um, except there's something else in that one. Um, but you can p fill these with like beads and put your brushes like here. Um, but I had something else that I wanted to do for my brushes so I didn't do that. I was actually thinking about putting flowers in there, like fake flowers just to, I don't know, girly it up a little bit. And then in this middle compartment, I have all of my lipsticks and lip glosses. Um, this is kind of like organized chaos. <laughs> um, I got this little nifty organizer at um, 
home goods and it was only like ten dollars and it has little cubby holes for your lipsticks and then it has a big square and then in the back it has like taller cubby holes um so i have my mac let's see so so going back to the whole thing i'll try to explain it in a quick fashion um so I have my MAC lipsticks over here, although some of them are in my purse because I know I have more MAC lipsticks than that. Um, so I have my MAC lipsticks, and then this is kind of like my store-bought lipsticks. So like Alme, Alme, however you say that, Maybelline. Um, this is amazing. I'll use it in a tutorial because I love it so much. It is um, Maybelline's, right? Maybelline? How come you don't have your name on this, people? Oh my gosh. Anywho, it's their new, I saw the commercial for like their new Buffs line, which is like their nudes. Um, and yeah, so this is in Nude Lust, and it's just like the perfect nude color. I just really love it. Anywho, um, this I was wearing in my um, Sephora's haul giveaway, um, and it is Maybelline um, color in Fairy Tale, and it's just a really pretty pink color so oh it's actually cover girl cover girl a lot of people ask me what lipstick I was wearing in that so yeah that's kind of like my store bought lipsticks and then this little cubby hole is more of my high-end lipsticks because I don't really wear high-end lipsticks on an everyday basis so um just because I don't want to waste the money of using high-end lipstick when I'm like just cleaning the house that day so I usually wear like one of these these are kind of like more my everyday lipsticks and then these are for when like I'm going out or to church or with friends or my husband or whatever um so yeah these are some of my lipsticks most of these were in my haul I have some Dior I have some Dior um, lipstick in there, my YSL lipsticks, NARS lipsticks. This is one of my favorite lipsticks um, by Booksum. And it's just like a really pretty, I don't even know, color. So you put that up against the white. Um, let's see, I have Hourglass. This is a really pretty nude color. Um, kind of like just the perfect brownie nude color. It's a lot like Jubilee by MAC, but l a little less brown, which I like because I have Jubilee by MAC. And sometimes it's a little too brown for what I'm wanting to do. Um, this is one of my favorite lipsticks, especially for the summertime. It is Tarte. Um, it's just a really pretty corally bright pink color. And then back here, it has like longer cubby holes, so I put all of my like awkwardly long lipsticks in there. This is a really another nude color, but it's more of like a tan nude, um, a little less brown. It's it's like a really it's like a really warm nude color. Um, what else do I have back here? I have some of my chubby sticks because they're longer and they fall over the place, so I like being able to put them in there because. Um, they just fit perfectly. Um, and then back here in their little, can't really see it, I have some of my lip butters. And I must have some other lip butters in my car because I have a lot of these. Although this one is one of my favorite lip butters. It's just, I apparently I really like nude colors, but this is a very goldy brown nude and it's just so like sexy. I feel sexy when I wear it. Don't judge me. Okay, and then in here I have all of my um, kind of lip glosses. So a lot of these are by NYX. This one is one of my favorite lip colors like ever. And it is NYX in um, Natural. And it's just like a mauvey, pinky nude color. It's super pigmented. It goes with everything, especially a smoky eye. Like if you have kind of a heavy eye makeup on, put this with it and it just looks gorgeous so that's one of my favorites this is what I'm wearing on my lips today you're gonna show me um, I have a little bit of this on and then I put some pink lip gloss over it and then in here I have just some more um, lip glosses these are all the booksome lip glosses that I got in my set during my Sephora shopping spree 
Um, and this one I'm wearing today on top of my um, red lip from Sephora. So I'm wearing these two lip glosses today. This one is in Berry Blast. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing those two today. As you can see, if you're curious, that's what I'm wearing. And then back here behind the Books and Ones, I have my NYX, I think, what are these called? Butter glosses. And these are just so thick and pigmented. Um, these are just like super thick and pigmented lip glosses. So naturally I like love them. And then back here, um, this lady gave me a whole bunch of lipsticks from like Estee Lauder, um, which I absolutely loved because I'm addicted to lipsticks, but I kind of haven't tried them yet. So they're all back here. So, so yeah, I have those. So that is the whole middle section. And if you want to see any of these lip products or any other products um, in particular if you want like a closer up look or a swatch or a tutorial with any of these looks just let me know and I will try to get that done for you um, and then over here is the top of the second drawer on the other side and this I got at home goods and I just am so in love with it it reminds me of like a merry-go-round it um, turns and I put all of my brushes in there so this um, little cubby has all of my like bronzer and blush brushes. And then this one has all of my foundation brushes, um, except I've been using this a lot for blush. So I'm just gonna put it over there. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favorite ways to apply my um, foundation. It's really dirty right now, but it's the Sephora Mineral Powder Brush. Um, and I tried to find like a Real Techniques brush that like Tanya Burr was using um, and I couldn't find it. She said it was at Sephora I think but I couldn't find it and so this one looked a lot like it and I've really been loving it so I'm sure it is a lot like the Real Techniques brush. And then I have like my, then I have my um, kind of like more like paint brushes. And then in here I have all of my um, eyeliner brushes. I have a, um, I have a little, uh, whatever you call that thing with Bob, and then just some different eyeliner brushes. This is the one that I use for my eyebrows every day, and then just different ones for other things. And then this is my, um, like smudging eyeshadow brushes cubby hole. And then in this cubby hole, I have all of my, um, kind of like blending brushes and just your normal eyeshadow brushes. This is my MAC 217 brush, right? Yeah. Um, and I use that pretty much on an everyday basis. Um, yeah, so I really love this thing to store all my brushes and it's in a convenient location here on my um, vanity. So that is the whole kind of like top section of my vanity. Um, and now I will go into the drawers. So this drawer, Okay, so this is my Naked palette and my dog ate it. So look at that. My Smoked palette that I got during my shopping spree. The Sephora Anthology kit, which I actually haven't opened yet. This is what the giveaway winner won. So I'm excited to start using that. I haven't broken into it yet. And then I have the MAC. Um, what was this? This was like a seasonal item. Okay, so that is my eyeshadow palette drawer. And then over here on the other side, I have all of my um, mascaras and all of my eyeliners, as well as my eyeliner pod. This is from Maybelline and it's the color eggplant. Um, and yeah, I have the Urban Decay um, eyeliners, which I really, really love. Even though they are not a liquid, they really don't smudge and they last all day. Um, and then a lot of the mascaras, I got the mascara um, sample kit. And so I have a lot more mascaras than I used to have. Um, I'm wearing this one today and I've been wearing it pretty much every day. It's the Tarte um, Lights Camera Flashes. Um, and I'm wearing it today. So I don't know if you can kind of tell up close and personal, um, but usually I wear the Benefit They're Real 
which I really love. It's a really great mascara. But I'm thinking, I, th I think I actually like this one more. It makes my lashes um, hold a curl even if I don't curl my eyelashes. Um, and it just lengthens them and volumizes them, so I've been really loving it.